The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros. Oscar De La Hoya disrespects Canelo to promote UFC. Yes, Oscar De La Hoya really disrespected Canelo and Edgar Berlanga to promote the UFC. We're going to take a look at his video. Uh, this is from his uh, series, uh, Clap Back Thursdays, uh, where he claps back at people. And here's what uh, Oscar De La Hoya had to say about Canelo Berlanga. All right, here we go. Bring this to the front. Right here. Okay, so we're a week away from the boxing match that nobody asked for, right? And the UFC event that everybody will be watching. Canelo's fighting Berlanga. Another snooze fest. They're trying to sell a pay-per-view for $90 at $500 minimum in person? It's just robbery at this point to pay for another lame Canelo fight that always goes the distance against a subpar opponent. I'll actually be attending the UFC event at the Sphere instead. So now, I love the sport of boxing more than anything, and I will be watching boxing matches anywhere and anytime, even if it's a simple sparring session or two bums fighting in the street. So the idea I'm choosing to attend the UFC and support Dana White instead of Canelo tells you everything you need to know. Dana, I can't wait to see you next Saturday, buddy. I see that you got the same app surgery I got. <laughs> I always knew you wanted to be like me, bro. It will be great to hang out with you face to face. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, a lot to unpack there, but is it real? Eyebrows, fingernails, abs, is it real? <laughs> so uh, Edgar, Edgar Belinga, um responded to this, so we're going to take a look at Edgar Belinga. PBL Oscar. PBL <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> hey, at least he's admitting it. You know what I'm saying? My man Oscar said ain't no shame in my game. I had him for real, and I paid for it. All right, so... Uh, yeah, well, this is uh, Edgar Belenga's Twitter, and here's what he wrote. We'll start right here. He said, how can a scumbag like Oscar hate on me in the event? You somebody a lot of fighters looked up to. You are effing wanker with the laughing emoji, and he at Oscar De La Hoya. And then he wrote, let me guess, at Dana White is paying you to do all of this. And, you know, kind of hand on the forehead emoji. And then laughing eyes. And then he posted a picture of him. Edgar Belenga posted a picture of him with Oscar De La Hoya. And Oscar De La Hoya is smiling in the picture. He's pointing at Eg Edgar Belenga. And uh, Edgar Belenga is throwing up the number one sign. This is when Edgar Belenga was a free agent. And I guess Oscar thought he may uh, sign him or had, or had an opportunity to sign him. And Edgar Belenga wrote, WTF, what the F, at Oscar De La Hoya, you was so happy here. And he was talking about how Oscar was happy in the picture of them together. And then that's the last thing he tweeted. So that was his response to Oscar De La Hoya. Trill dollar bill. What's your reaction to Oscar actually promoting the UFC event on Mexican Independence Day over Canelo's event and saying he's going to be in attendance at the UFC event when he and Dana White have beef with each other, and it's known that Dana White said he's like the biggest piece of crap. He's going to lose Ryan Garcia and all types of stuff. What's your reaction to this, Dollar Bill? Women do weird things when you ain't win them no more. You know what I'm saying? They post on social media and do all types of stuff like that. So I don't, I don't see no, no different. Oscar's just hating, man. He's just bitter. He's bitter about the breakup. You know what I'm saying? And this is what he's doing. He's going out his way just, just to hang with the ops. Getting and surgeries. <laughs> <laughs> he went and got the surgery, messing with the ops. He's doing all that. <laughs> Every time he get a chance, he's mentioning his name. You know what I'm saying? He's just bitter. He's hating. That's what it's coming off. It's just pure hate. And it's not disrespect. It's just hate and bitterness. That's all I see. Here. And it's making Oscar look bad. It's look more bad on Oscar's part. You know what I'm saying? Than it does on, because it just, like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say to Oscar, if you like the way you look so much, you should go and love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, no, but, oh. Nah, you no, know, for real, this is just sad, man, to see Oscar De La Hoya because I think sometimes when 
you do something petty, it exposes you and you don't understand how you may be hurting your reputation with other people. So think of young Mexican fighters right now who are looking up to Canelo. Canelo, they're idolizing Canelo and they know that Canelo got his start with Golden Boy. Say there's a kid who's objective and the kid thinks like, you know, yeah, I know Canelo and Oscar got beef, but Oscar did help guide Canelo in the right direction. And tell, oh, come on, man. Yo, yo. Yo, we're going to get flagged, man. They're going to make this, this is, they're going to make, uh, you know, 18 and older for that, man. You know what I mean? That's you, champ. That's you, champ. You can't be showing pictures of De La Hoya with the churros rolls out, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, so, uh, yeah, but I, I, I do think you doing this to a former fighter who fought under your banner, but also who is at, who's Mexican as well, and you doing this to pick up someone who had no respect for you whatsoever, who's been disrespecting you and everything, and you're just doing this strictly out of hate and spite, I think – it doesn't. It, it's a bad look for the potential prospects in Mexico who may be looking to sign with a promoter who they feel like they can trust and who they feel like would have their best interest. Now, let's not forget, this is the same Oscar De La Hoya that didn't show up to the post-fight press conference for Ryan Garcia, and there ended up being some turmoil between Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia, and they've been able to smooth it over, you know, one would think, basically, but you never really know. So my thing is, Oscar has been in hot water with his top fighters before. So for him to do something like this just looks bad on him. So I don't know why he would want to do it. And if I'm an up-and-coming prospect out of Mexico and I'm looking for a promoter to sign with, I'm looking at Etch-A-Sketch Oscar, right? And I'm, I, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I don't know if I want to sign with him. As far as him promoting the UFC event, I don't think it makes any difference. I don't think it's going to change the landscape of anything. But for those people who are in the comment section acting like, oh, UFC, y'all hating on UFC. UFC so desperate they got Oscar trying to promote him now? They got Oscar trying to act like, and he's saying this is the fight that nobody asked for. Oscar has given us a lot of fights that nobody's asked for. Oscar, Oscar's put on so many fights that nobody's asked for. Remember, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for Ryan, if it wasn't for Ryan, forcing the fight with Javante Tank Davis, Ryan was still being fights that nobody asked for. Ryan was the one who made the Tank fight happen. It was Ryan. So Oscar needs to stop it, man. There's a lot of hate. The hatred is showing. If I was Oscar, I would fall back and just live because every time Oscar does something like this, I feel like he hurts his brand. And it's sad for me to see because I was truly an Oscar De La Hoya fan growing up. Just as lame as you see this video, like just as lame as this video is, that's how great a fighter Oscar was. Right. That's what makes this suck, like to have to say this about Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the Commissioner Joe Dollar Bill. It's my brother Caden. It's LG for life. We the boxing bros.